might want to move the camera here. Okay. I want to present to you one of my best made Gundams ever. Uh -huh. This was back when I first uh, was still very young in Gunpla. Uh, this is called Beginning Gundam from uh, from a certain lost series. Remember before there was Build Fighters? I've never even heard of that. <laughs> there was Gundam. Uh, before there was Build Fighters, there was Gundam Build Beginning, whatever that was called. It was completely forgotten because it was had a horrible story, horrible animation. You could go better. Forever lost. It was lost in time. But this Gundam here was all my favorites because of how much effort was put into it. You can go, I would love to show you the details, but do you have a turn base or But, you know, this thing was painted A to Z, decals put together, stripped from the Musha Mark II, painted everything. This one took me so much work. I think I cried when I was making it. <laughs> I would, there was not an exaggeration. This thing took me a lot of effort. Yeah, I can see that. It's got the lines. But this one eventually died out slowly because you can see the colors slowly fading. And it's kind of sad. You know, this was a classic. This was a starter. Right. From here, I made all of these. It all started from this one for you. It all came from this guy. Right. Kind of this one was older, but this guy started it all. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to cue some music here. So like, I'm gonna edit some music. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? It's the theme. But it's the theme. <laughs> Last, I present to the Gundam Mini Quad 1x100 version KA Master Grade. This thing was a beast to put together. You can tell that this was one really old model. I bought this when it first came out, when episode 1 was still 2010. Around. I was four years ago. Year, four years. This ago. is four years old. This is four years old. Oh, this shit. thing is as old as it gets. It's pretty dang old. And you can tell by all the moving parts that this thing is not. Gun plot to build. It's everything it's is the movable. cycle frame. You the have to frame. build the frame and then put the cycle frame on oh. and then put the white stuff. One more thing this thing is transformable. Yeah. I refuse to transform it because <laughs> it's really, really hard, yeah. tedious work, but it's really cool. Either way, this thing. Besides, destroy mode is, is freaking destroy mode anyway. It's really cool anyway. I don't think I want to change it. This thing, version KAs, are notoriously hard to build. So oh, this is a KA? Yeah, oh. version KAs are notoriously hard to build. I only recommend them for intermediate, daring intermediates, and those who have already had years of experience in building. Right. So does the beam saber come out? Or? I rather not. Okay. This <laughs> thing does not move. This thing stays the way it is, or I'm gonna freak, freak out. All it's right. really hard to build. It was really hard to keep it this way. And it should just stay that way. It should stay that way. It is a marvel, a masterpiece. If you love Gundam Unicorn, get this guy, build him, leave him there. He's perfect. Standing there, he looks perfect. And finally, no. the Haro. I don't know why, but Haro is a recurring character in all the Gundam universes. There will always be a Haro in every Gundam. I got what is a Haro? What is a Haro? A Haro is like a. It's like a. How do you describe a Haro? It's an adorable computer friend. For R2D2. Like R2D2. Without the sass, without all the back sass. Without the back sass. And it actually has functions. You see. In um, one good example of a Haro being really useful is in Gundam Double O. See, the lock on Stratos' Haro allowed him to target target enemies at the same multiple. So the lock on was a sniper. Like sniper. So the so Haro was a spotter. Haro served as a spotter, but he also allowed him to do what his signature move, you know, lock on. So <laughs> Haro helped him. Right. So this guy is. Uh, this was orange, wasn't it? Or this was orange. Already bro broken up Haro, but this is an old Haro. Cute. It's a cute Haro from the. This one I got it from the Age series. Oh. It's meant to have a function, but it's been broken, so it's all right. It's, right. it's adorable, and it's a nice piece to have. If you love Gundam's cute things, get a Haro. It's a must get for. All, it's a must get for all fans if you're into it. If you're a fan. I'm pretty much into it, and I'm kind of jealous that I don't have one myself. You should get a Haro. Yeah. yeah. These things can are really fun. To I play. just flap its ears all day. If it has. One has ears. Yeah, anyway, this is a computer-based Haro. This thing is actually a built-in arcade game, but... I is this for the pilot thing that you do? No, no, oh, sadly no. This one is for... Uh, the H series released uh, a game for their age gauging system. This thing is literally its own miniature game. Oh, it's a game. It's built-in. Um, and you can scan stuff and your own Gundams and modify them and scan it into here. And it's practically what you get from Build Fighters, just without the cool 
Thanks. Oh, you Japanese people know how to make up all sorts of stuff. All right. Uh, we're gonna, I don't know if you guys can see me, but uh, we're gonna get one last pat of this. Wait. Boop.